Akarta is fighting back against the rising seas with a groundbreaking mega project. Explore how Indonesia's ambitious seawall could be the key to saving its sinking capital from the threat of climate change. The Garuda Seawall Project to Save a Sinking City Jakarta, Indonesia's bustling capital, faces an urgent crisis. The city is sinking at an alarming rate of 12 centimeters per year. Home to over 10 million residents, Jakarta's rapid descent is driven by a combination of factors. The city's heavy skyscrapers and extensive shopping malls are compressing the soil, exacerbating the sinking. Additionally, widespread groundwater extraction to combat severe water shortages has further destabilized the land. Jakarta's precarious situation is compounded by rising sea levels from the Java Sea, which are increasing by up to 200 centimeters annually. Flooding is now causing damages estimated at $133 million per year, with projections suggesting that one-third of the city could be submerged by 2050 if no intervention occurs. In response to this crisis, the Indonesian government has launched the ambitious Garuda Seawall project. This engineering marvel will span 40 kilometers and stand 24 meters tall, designed to shield Jakarta from relentless flooding. With a budget of $10.5 billion, the project aims not only to protect, but also to transform the city's landscape. The seawall will feature advanced floodgate systems and a freshwater reservoir to address Jakarta's chronic water issues. On top of the wall, the plan includes a new urban space with residential areas, industrial zones, and lush green parks. The project also proposes the creation of 17 artificial islands to accommodate 2 million people, further altering Jakarta's geography and expanding its urban footprint. As construction of the Garuda Seawall progresses, the world watches closely, hopeful that this bold initiative will secure Jakarta's future. The city's current situation reflects a broader pattern of environmental and infrastructural challenges faced by rapidly growing urban areas worldwide. The success of this project could set a precedent for other cities grappling with similar issues, making Jakarta's battle against sinking a crucial test case in the fight against climate change and urban vulnerability. Amidst Jakarta's ongoing battle against sinking and flooding, a new beacon of hope has emerged, the revival of the ambitious Garuda Seawall project. This colossal endeavor, estimated to span 40 years and with an initial budget of $10.5 billion, aims to construct a giant seawall around Indonesia's capital. When completed, the Garuda Seawall will stand as an unprecedented feat of engineering, designed to shield Jakarta from the relentless encroachment of the sea. The project's origins date back to 2010, but it has faced numerous challenges along the way. Initial plans encountered strong opposition from environmental groups and local politicians who were concerned about potential disruptions to marine ecosystems and local livelihoods. Critics argued that the seawall might cause more problems than it would solve. Despite these concerns, the worsening situation in Jakarta has prompted a revival of the project. To understand the scale and significance of the Garuda seawall, consider its planned construction, a massive barrier rising from the waters of the Java Sea, extending over 40 kilometers and standing 24 meters tall. This monumental structure is designed to act as a fortress providing Jakarta with a robust defense against both flooding and land subsidence. The Garuda Seawall is named after Garuda, the mythical bird in Indonesian culture symbolizing strength and protection. This name reflects the project's goal of offering a formidable shield against the threats facing Jakarta. The wall will be strategically positioned in the northern bay of Jakarta, with two main sections stretching east and west to encircle the city. One of the most notable features of the Garuda Seawall is its multifunctional design. Beyond its primary role as a protective barrier, the seawall will integrate advanced engineering solutions, including floodgate systems and a freshwater reservoir, to address Jakarta's chronic water issues. Additionally, the project will contribute to urban development, creating new land for residential areas, industrial zones, and green spaces. As construction of the Garuda Seawall progresses, it represents a critical effort to safeguard Jakarta's future. The project's success could not only protect the city from immediate threats, but also set a precedent for other cities facing similar challenges from climate change and rising sea levels. Transforming Jakarta The Garuda Seawall project represents a monumental effort to protect and transform Jakarta, Indonesia's capital, which is increasingly threatened by flooding and land subsidence. This ambitious initiative is set to reshape the city by constructing a colossal seawall and repurposing the area atop it into a vibrant urban space. 
Once completed, the top of the Garuda seawall will feature a bustling urban area spanning approximately 4,000 hectares. This space will include an airport, a harbor, residential zones, industrial areas, waste treatment facilities, water reservoirs, and lush green spaces. The project is divided into three major phases, each with distinct objectives and challenges. Phase one involves the construction of a preliminary seawall designed to offer immediate protection against flooding. This initial stage has a budget of $10.5 billion and is expected to be completed by 2030. It includes extending and strengthening the existing dike system, which was overwhelmed during Jakarta's devastating flood of 2007. The first phase will see a 30-kilometer extension along Jakarta's coast. Phase two will focus on extending and reinforcing the seawall further. This stage aims to create a continuous barrier that can withstand severe weather and rising sea levels. It is a critical step that lays the groundwork for the final phase of the project. Phase three is the most ambitious part of the project. It involves completing the full structure of the Garuda seawall, which will rise to a height of 24 meters. This phase also includes the construction of 17 artificial islands designed to accommodate approximately 2 million people. The goal for this final phase is to complete the structure by 2040, with additional time allocated for final adjustments and improvements. Engineering the Garuda seawall involves cutting-edge technology and innovative solutions. The foundation of the wall will be constructed using reinforced concrete and steel pilings selected for their strength and durability to withstand the harsh marine environment. A significant challenge is working in a dynamic coastal area, which will be addressed through prefabrication. Large sections of the wall will be built off-site and then transported to minimize construction time and disruption. A key feature of the Garuda seawall is its integrated floodgate system. These floodgates are designed to manage water flow from Jakarta's 13 rivers, helping to regulate water levels and prevent flooding. The Garuda Seawall project, with its multifaceted approach and advanced engineering, aims to secure Jakarta's future while transforming it into a resilient and dynamic urban space. The Garuda Seawall project is an ambitious and innovative initiative aimed at safeguarding Jakarta from flooding and land subsidence. One of the key features of this massive seawall is its integrated floodgate system. These automated gates will precisely control water flow based on real-time data, preventing the accumulation of water behind the wall, which could otherwise turn Jakarta Bay into a stagnant pool. This sophisticated system ensures that water levels are managed effectively to protect the city. Another groundbreaking aspect of the Garuda seawall is its inclusion of a freshwater reservoir. Jakarta's heavy reliance on groundwater extraction has been a major factor in its sinking issues. To combat this, the seawall will feature a system designed to collect and store rainwater and river water. This reservoir will provide a sustainable source of clean water for the city's residents, reducing the need for further groundwater extraction and helping to stabilize the ground. However, building such a massive structure raises significant environmental concerns. Critics are worried about the potential impacts on marine ecosystems and local fisheries. To address these concerns, the project incorporates extensive environmental studies and safeguards. The design includes fish passes and mangrove restoration areas to support local biodiversity and minimize disruption to the marine environment. The floodgates are also designed to allow the natural flow of water, further reducing environmental impact. Despite these measures, the Garuda Sea Wall project faces numerous challenges. Critics argue that it may not fully address the root causes of Jakarta's sinking, such as ongoing groundwater extraction and rapid urbanization. There are also concerns about the project's feasibility and the ability to secure the necessary funding for its completion. Overall, the Garuda Sea Wall project is more than just an engineering marvel. It represents a critical lifeline for Jakarta's future. Once completed, this colossal structure is expected to protect the city from flooding and subsidence while also providing opportunities for sustainable urban development. By incorporating advanced technologies and addressing environmental and practical challenges, the project aims to ensure Jakarta's resilience against climate change and urban pressures.